Hello everyone, I'm back uh, from my vacation days and uh, we're going full attack mode on the markets this week uh, and the time has come for me to share with you one of my uh, weekly trading plans. Now, uh, in this video, as usual, we are going to make a technical analysis on a currency pair uh, and we will start from the weekly time frame going down to the daily time frame and finishing on the H4 time frame uh, while I share my expectations for the price movements of this currency pair. Not only that but uh, on TradingView where I will publish this plan you can check a full fundamental analysis for this week and again follow us on Twitter where uh, I will share live signals based on this uh, plan. So without further ado, let's get started. What you see currently on the screens is the weekly time frame of the GBP odd currency pair. Now, first thing we notice on the weekly time frame is that at this area here, you can see how a few times uh, the pair reacted here even when it was broken and now a few times already here and um, my belief is that uh, this area will not be broken a second time and the price will enter into a downtrend from here uh, another thing uh, let's turn the 200 SMA indicator you can see that uh, it confirms that currently the pair is in a downtrend and we can see also that here it bounced from the uh, movie coverage line which is a good indication. Uh, what else we can say on the weekly? I think that's all. Downtrend is confirmed. The bounce from the 200 SMA already happened. We have a level here that uh, the price failed to break a few times, so let's go to the daily time frame. Okay, uh, I've named this a daily resistance area, but as you saw, it is also a weekly resistance area. You can see here the reactions and a huge uh, and good movements down happened after that. Uh, you can also see here that after being broken here and the price retraced to that level uh, it acted as a support for a few days before being broken and now the price retraced back to it and already bounced uh, two or three times from it so I expect this daily resistance area to hold and a new downtrend to be formed from here actually a new wave as uh, we can see that the first wave started from here, went down here, we had a correction to this area and now I expect a new wave probably to here or even further down. Uh, if we turn the Ichimoku indicator we can see that the price is currently below the Ichimoku cloud and actually it is even touching it here. Uh, this is another confirmation since after the touch we can see that today so far the price is dropping. Now if we turn the 200 SMA uh, it shows that on the daily time frame we are in an uptrend and you can see where the line is exactly below our weekly target. Uh, I expect a drop to here, probably a bounce from the 200 SMA line and uh, a small correction and then a new drop. That's why we have two targets. Uh, this is our weekly target also. Uh, this target is placed here because as you can see this area acted as a resistance here and it should act as a support as well. Also it acted a few times here. You can see it. Okay. Uh, that's it on the daily. Uh, Let's go down to the H4. I'll just delete a few things so it will be easier for you. And let's see what we'll do. Okay, so far on the H4 we can see the reaction. So a daily resistance level stops 
uh, H4 trends. Uh, we, I also noticed that the price reacted from this small area here twice. So uh, if you enter into a sell trade, it's good to watch out uh, what happens here uh, since the weekly target is a little bit below that. I do expect this area to be broken, but just in case, watch it closely if you have a sell trade and the price reaches there. Uh, if we turn, let's see Ichimoku, uh, Ichimoku shows an uptrend here and currently the, the price is inside of the cloud. Now a break of this cloud would only confirm the H4 downtrend and its trend. Uh, the 200 SMA is exactly at that level which I told you about uh, to look out for. So at this point here, we might see a small correction on the, especially on the lower time frames, and then a new wave down reaching our weekly target by the end, hopefully of this week. Another thing I would like to mention are my expectations. As you can see, I have drawn a line here and you might ask yourselves, okay, so where do we enter? Now, there are a few options, the first of which is if the price drops to this area and bounces once more, I wouldn't expect it to go further than that. Why? Let me show you. Because here you can see that we currently have a reaction, we had a few reactions before, so if this line is broken and uh, the price reaches down here, uh, I expect a small correction to this uh, level again and then a drop to the weekly target. Now this is one of the scenarios. Of course, uh, there is the possibility for us to see uh, something like a bounce from here, probably a retrace to here and then a drop, maybe even like that, drop to here, then another wave, and another drop. This is for the lower time, time frames especially, so if you're going on the M30 or M15, watch out for these scenarios. And third possible one is, uh, let me just change the color, is for the price to go back up to the daily resistance area for a third uh, top and then to fall down. This would be the perfect one as it will give us a lot of space for our position to win us some profits. Uh, bottom line is that I will be looking to sell the GBP odd, no matter which of these three scenarios happen. Uh, I won't buy even if it bounces from here and goes to here, as the room is pretty small. Uh, you can see that the weekly target area uh, level is at 1.7655. And a more long-term target is at 1.7395. I would say at 1.74 as it, it is a round number and traders tend to look at round numbers. So that's all on this plan. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I also hope you follow it. And most importantly, I hope we will make profits together based on that plan. Again, follow up on Twitter for live signups based on it. And uh, let's not forget, check out the plan and its development throughout the week on TradingView. I will also post all the levels and areas there in numbers and a short uh, fundamental analysis for this week and uh, the news you should watch. Thank you very much. I wish you a profitable week.